Iran has found an original way of dealing with sanctions and limitations imposed on it by the so-called maximum pressure campaign launched by the Trump administration. On January 4th, the Navy of the Iranian Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps detained a South Korea-flagged oil tanker in the Strait of Hormuz over an alleged environmental pollution issue. The chemical tanker, Hankook Chiemi, was inbound to Fujairah in the United Arab Emirates. Ahead of the incident, the United Kingdom Maritime Trade Operations Naval Authority reported that an interaction between Iranian authorities and a merchant vessel in the Strait of Hormuz led the ship to alter its course and proceed into Iranian waters. Following the incident, the South Korean Defense Ministry said that it will send its anti-piracy Cheonggye unit, normally based in the Gulf of Aden, along with helicopters to the Persian Gulf. The 302-strong Cheonggye unit operates a 4,500-ton destroyer, a Lynx anti-submarine helicopter, and three speedboats. The deployment of this unit is rather a symbolic move than a practical step that would allow to protect South Korea-flagged ships in the region, as Iranian forces have an overwhelming dominance there, and using its conventional and asymmetric capabilities can even challenge the U.S. military in the event of a limited military confrontation there. Two days before the seizure of the tanker, Iran said a South Korean diplomat was due to travel to the country to negotiate over billions of dollars in its assets now frozen in Seoul. The total amount of Iranian money blocked in South Korea is up to 8.5 billion, and Tehran declared its readiness to barter its money for deliveries of a variety of goods and commodities, including raw materials, medicine, petrochemicals, auto parts, and home appliances. Apparently, Iran thinks that South Korea needs some additional motivation to go contrary to the will of its big brother and accept the Iranian proposal.